Have you heard about the recent S-686 bill? This piece of legislation, known as Senate Bill 686 or simply SB 686, has been making waves in the world of law and politics. But what is it exactly? And what does it mean for the average person? To understand this, we need to dive into the language of the bill itself. Now, legal jargon can be pretty dense, but don't worry, we're here to break it down. The S-686 bill, in its simplest terms, is about investigation procedures. It outlines how and when authorities can launch an investigation based on someone's spoken words. So, what's the big deal about this? Well, it has a lot to do with our freedom of speech, privacy rights, and how far the authorities can go when it comes to investigating potential wrongdoings. The bill is divided into several parts, each dealing with a different aspect of these investigations. The first part is all about the circumstances under which an investigation can be initiated. It details that an investigation can be launched if there's reasonable suspicion that a crime has been committed based on someone's spoken words. The second part of the bill deals with the process of the investigation itself. It outlines the steps that authorities must take, the rights of the person being investigated, and the time frame within which the investigation must be completed. The third and final part of the bill is about accountability and oversight. It sets up checks and balances to ensure that these investigations are carried out fairly and that authorities are held accountable for any abuse of power. So, there you have it, the S-686 bill in a nutshell. But what does this all mean? Well, it means that what you say can potentially lead to an investigation against you if it's considered to have reasonable suspicion of a crime. It also means that there are clear procedures that authorities must follow during such an investigation and mechanisms in place to hold them accountable. In summary, the S-686 bill is a complex piece of legislation that has significant implications for our freedom of speech and privacy rights. It outlines how and when authorities can launch an investigation based on spoken words, the process of the investigation, and the checks and balances to ensure fairness and accountability. What you type, what you post, what you whisper in your house could land you in jail. In short, if you communicate with another human being and the authorities find it unfavorable to them, you could go to jail. This is not just in the United States. Look at what's happening in Israel right now. You better be on your best behavior and treat people with biblical respect, including those who are considered three-fifths human. For those spouses who have no respect for their partners, you could potentially go straight from divorce to jail. You only need one word spoken against you as a witness. If you've never heard this before, hear it now. He who makes the rules keeps the gold and owns your freedom. But do not fear the ones who can harm your body and your bank account. Respect the one that can take back your soul. While it's too soon to tell what the full impact of this bill will be, it's clear that it's a significant development in the world of law and politics. If you found this information interesting, please comment, click like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on this channel. So, next time you hear about the S-686 bill, you'll know exactly what it means. Become a member at getaikeys.com to learn insights into AI systems and services to stay in front of the competition.